Thank you for watching Indigenous Children's Storytime. We also thank you for supporting our channel by love offerings and sharing with your friends and family. Share, 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 and share some more. Sharing is caring. Make sure you hit the like button. It's 100% free. All story times are dedicated to my four amazing sons, unjustly, unlawfully, legally kidnapped by the corrupt child trafficking CPS, Child Protective Services. This story time is dedicated to my sons, Nazi, misidentified as Jackson, Omni, misidentified as Joshua, Maji, misidentified as Theodore, and Adrael. Mommy loves you so much more than words can express. If anyone tells you any different, don't believe them and don't ever trust them again. Mommy loves you and I want you to know that. I want you to believe that and I want you to trust that. I do love you. Book coming soon, Little Nazi the Great goes for a walk with mommy, the autochthonous indigenous baby that didn't know how great he is. Ebook option one available now. Info in the description. Now to today's book. Peaceful greetings and welcome to Indigenous Children's Storytime. We are back with another great book. Today we are going to be reading One, Two, Three, Zoo. <laughs> A cool county book. One. Say it with me. One. One. Find 10 set conversation starters at the end of this book. Okay, we can look we can look for that. Okay. So can you tell me? Can you tell me what animal that is? We have one. What is that? We have one elephant. That's right. Two. Say it with me. Two. Two. One, two. Count them. One, two. Can you tell me, can you tell me what those are? They're two. What are those? It's not a rhinoceros. Hippopotamus? Is that two hippopotamuses? Three. Say it with me. Three. Three. What, what are these? They are all different, but they are three kinds of... Bears! We have a polar bear, a black, a black bear, and a Panda bear. Yeah. Four. Say it with me. Four. We have four. Four. Count them. One, two, three, four. What are these? They're all part of the cat family. 
lions and tigers. Well, I don't see tigers, but definitely lions. Five. Say with me. Five. Five. We have five. What? What are these? Giraffes. We have five giraffes. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Six. Say it with me. Six. Six. We have six. What? What are these? We have six flamingos. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yes, six flamingos. Seven. Say it with me. Seven. Seven. We have seven. What? What are these? Seven zebras. Count them. One. Two and three, four and five, six and seven. Yeah, seven zebras. Eight, say it with me, eight. Eight, we have eight what? What are these? Eight gorillas. Yeah. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yay. Nine. Say it with me. Nine. 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 We have nine. What? What are these? Penguins. Yeah, they're penguins. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Nine penguins. Perfect. Ten. Say it with me. Ten. 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 What are these? We have 10. <coughs> we have 10 different types of birds. They're all birds. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, can you identify all of the different types of birds? Can you identify all the? Pause the video and write down all the different types of birds or just say them out loud. 
What type of birds are these? I'll give you a hint. This one is a duck. This one is a duck. This one is an eagle. Can you identify the rest? Okay, let's talk. Use these conversation starters to begin a fun talk with your children. It says kids, but we don't have goats. We don't have baby goats. We have children, living, breathing, human babies, children. Number one, elephants. Elephants are really big. They are the largest land living mammals in the world. Can you make an elephant sound? This sound is called trumpeting. Can you make a trumpeting sound of an elephant? Two, do you think these hippos look like horses? Well, the name hippopotamus means river horse. These and these huge animals spend a lot of time in rivers and lakes. Can you count how many hippos are here? We counted two hippos. These are three, these are three different kinds of bears. Can you point to the panda bear? How about the polar bear? Can you point to the black bear? Four. Can you count how many male boy lions? And how many female girl lions are on this page? How many are there in total? Good job. Now how, now make a loud lion roar. Roar. Well, I don't know. That's probably more like a dinosaur. Five, do you know the names of these animals with long necks? Giraffes are really special animals. Do you know why they have long necks? How about the disti distinctive spots? How about the distinctive spots in their fur? Do you know? Put it in the comments if you do. What color are these flamingos? What is your favorite color? Seven. Do you think zebras look like horses and donkeys? That's because zebras belong to the same animal family. Zebras stand up while sleeping. Can you stand up and sleep? I don't think 
I'd want to stand up and sleep. Eight, the gorillas are here. Can you walk like a gorilla? How about making a gorilla sound? Can you make a gorilla sound? Can you walk like a gorilla? They, they gotta, they gotta walk to it. They're very confident. Hey, do you see a baby gorilla? Can you point to the baby? I seen that baby. It was the first one I counted. Nine, count how many penguins you see here. Which one is your favorite? Do you know that penguins are birds that can't fly? Can you tell what they can do? Hint, they really love the ocean. If you know, put it in the comments. Ten. Take a look at these colorful birds. Can you point to the eagle? How about the duck? And the toucan? Point to your favorite bird of all. Yeah. Okay, I love the little conversations at the end. That's amazing. I love those. So, today, Again, this book is 123 Zoo, a cool counting book, and I think it's pretty cool. Do you, how about you? Do you think this is a pretty cool counting book? Okay, well, that is the end of our story today. I hope that my son and everyone watching enjoyed this story time today. And if you did, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we have a new video. Okay? And like I always say, until next time, we'll see you in the next story time. This story was actually a special request from a young man that I met out shopping with his mom and she put this book as a reminder in my comments and it got mother approved and is on the channel. I hope that young man loves this story time as well seems as it is his favorite and if you have a favorite make sure you put it in the comments or you put it on the community board so that I can mother approve it and get your favorites on the channel. And if you can't do it yourself and you need the help of an adult, then get an adult. Tell them don't be lazy and help you put them in the comments and the community board so you could see your favorites on Indigenous Children's Storytime. Until next time, we'll see you in the next story time.